Hey everyone, it's Christian, also known as the artist and abstract and tenacity, and right now, search. So today I'm going to basically be telling you how to uncap your FPS and disable VSync in Dead by Daylight. Now this game doesn't actually have that setting as something you could change in game for some reason, unlike most games, but basically you can still change it by editing and any file in your app data. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you how to do. I'm also going to be showing you how to install custom icons from anyone who decides to make them. And as a disclaimer, you can, you can theoretically get banned for this because it's modding the game files. However, the likelihood is very unlikely. You can get banned, but you probably won't get banned. Although I offer no guarantee, so this is at your own risk. Now I'm going to be basically getting my instructions from a guide on Steam that goes through exactly how to do it, which I will link in the description below. But first, what I'm going to be teaching you how to do is how to completely reset your Dead by Daylight game. Just in case you don't feel comfortable with modding your game or you want to start fresh, start vanilla. I like vanilla ice cream and I like vanilla games sometimes, just randomly. Now first of all you want to navigate to Dead by Daylight, right click on it, go to properties, and you're going to go local files, and if you want to delete any custom icons you have or any other custom files you have put in the Dead by Daylight directory, you're going to go ahead and click on verify integrity of game files. It'll take a couple minutes depending on how good your processor is, and basically what it's going to do is it's going to compare the files you currently have on your machine with that that are on the Steam server in the base version of the game. If it sees any differences, I don't really know what it specifically looks for, but I'm sure file size and in some cases code within files. If it finds any differences, it will flag that item and it will say that it needs to be redownloaded, basically. After you redownload all of these files, then your game will basically be unmodded completely. Now, for the files that we're going to be editing, that's not quite as easy as doing that. Obviously, like I said, like I just said, for the icons you can do that. For the game user settings any file, you're going to actually have to delete it and then rerun your game so it'll generate a brand new one, which I will show you how to do later. So now that we have basically cleared our icons, we can go ahead and actually begin editing our any file and work our way up. So first of all, you want to open the Windows Run window seems kind of redundant. Anyway, which you can do this by hitting the Windows button and R at the same time, and you will see this run dialog window will pop up. Now the command you need to enter will be displayed on the screen now, but I will also be putting it in the description so you can just copy and paste it. So I've already got it on my clipboard, boom, and hit OK. Now I just completely reset my game user settings.any. If you've already done this to some degree, it will look slightly different than mine. Mainly you will probably have some stuff at the bottom right here. In my case, I am starting from completely default. My resolution is default, my sensitivities are default, everything is default. I just started from scratch so that anyone who just literally downloaded this game could do this. Now, the very first thing you're going to want to change in this file is you're going to see this B use vsync equals true. You want to set this to false with a capital F. This will disable vsync, obviously. Now that we have changed that, we are going to go ahead and close this file, save it, obviously. And actually, we're going to go back to the location that it's in, so you can just edit that, uh, that command that's in the description and remove the game user settings, and it will just go right to the folder that it's stored in. Now to make sure that your game doesn't reset any of these settings, go ahead and change it to read only. Now you're only going to want to do this if you don't really intend to make any other changes to your game. Obviously, if you change it to read only and you want to change settings in your game, they're just going to revert right back or not work at all because it's read only and it can't be edited. That's how read only works. Now that is basically all there is to uncapping your frames. Now for the icons. So I'm going to be getting my icons from uh, someone named Geistra, Geistra, something like that. And they basically made this sky pack of icons for killers and for end survivors, perks, items, powers. I'll link that in the description below, obviously. It wouldn't do much good if I didn't. Just going to download this here. Download it. I've already got it, but uh, for the sake of this video, I will download it again. When you're in your downloads, go ahead and extract the file. You'll see this will be divided into four different folders. Now, 
After you've got this downloaded, got this up to pretty much this point, you're going to go ahead and open up a new, a new file explorer tab and navigate to your Dead by Daylight directory, which is going to look like Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Dead by Daylight, Dead by Daylight, Content, UI, Icons, and you'll have all these folders. Now, if you're going to want to add specifics of these, which I personally am going to go ahead and add all of them, but if you just want to add some of the killer add-ons, you could just select these add-ons and paste them where they need to go. So for this folder, this first folder here, killer add-ons, we're going to go ahead and open that. You're going to see all these icons for, you guessed it, killer add-ons. And you're going to go ahead and in your game folder, you're going to go ahead and go to item add-ons. You're going to select all of these. You're going to drag them right into here and you're going to hit replace. So that has not only replaced the killer add-ons, but also the survivor add-on. Just all add-ons. This is just kind of a weirdly named folder. Now, and then we're going to go to powers and do the same thing. So you go to powers in your Dead by Daylight folder, select all, move them into there, replace, and then keep doing it over and over again. So survivor and killer perks, select all, perks, move them into there, place, boom. And one last one for survivor items, select all, items, move them in there, place. And that's it for installing new icons. This is really the only time that I've actually modded my files, so I can't really say that I've had it for years or months and not been banned, but uh, this could theoretically get you banned, so this is something you have to take into consideration when doing this. Again, I am not... This, you're doing this at your own risk. You're doing it on your risk. I, I can't be held accountable for this. I'll be held accountable for myself, but not for you. And that's about it. So once you've made those changes, you can go ahead and open up your Dead by Daylight. So we're loading in. Freddy laughing in the background. And we're going to go ahead and look at the killer ones first. And you're going to look at your loadout. And look at that. Look at all those pretty icons. And it's hard to see here, but in game it'll be a lot more obvious. You can see that this is also a different color. Same with any of the other killer's powers. That's hard to tell there. Uh, you can tell it's a slightly different color. And I, I think these look prettier, but you know, it's up to you. You don't have to mod your game. It's I like it. I like customization, and I always like customization. But yeah, so that's how to change the icons and how to uncap your frames per second in Dead by Daylight. So. I also forgot to show you how to reset your game user settings.ini. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to open up the run window again, paste that command, but don't go to the any file, go to the actual directory that it's in, and you'll see it right here. All you got to do is you're going to go ahead and delete that. Now deleting it isn't going to be enough, and neither is verifying your game files. Um, it's not going to generate a brand new one until you go ahead and restart Dead by Daylight. So after you delete it, go ahead and start it up again don't have to load in anything, you don't have to play a game, you don't really have to change any settings. It's just as soon as this basically boots into Dead by Daylight, it will be reset. It's probably actually already generated a new one now. Let's go ahead and actually look at it and see if we can... Nope, never mind. I was going to go ahead and try to open the run window again before this loaded, but it was faster. Computer wins again. Initialize it, and we'll go ahead and quit the game. And if we go back to that directory now, you'll see you've got a brand new one in here. And if you open it, it's reset. This in particular is really what you're looking for to see if it's reset. But you can also look at your sensitivities. They're all going to be 50. And your audio is going to be reset. And yeah, basically. So you are basically in a completely reset Dead by Daylight if you didn't install any icons. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative. And I hope you try this out at some point. I hope that... The, the threat of banning doesn't loom over you, but I don't know. Like I said, I always liked customization. I don't know. I like to be different, but I also like vanilla sometimes, so it's nice to have the option to switch between the two without having to re-download your game. But yeah, so thank you for watching, and uh, goodbye.